Today, let's talk about something that's totally changing the game for accounting and finance, the modern data ecosystem. You know, it's not just about the final numbers anymore. It's really about the incredible journey that data takes to even get to us. So I want to kick things off with a pretty direct question for every single finance and accounting pro out there. Look, you've mastered the spreadsheet. You probably know your ERP system better than anyone. And you can close the books like a champ. But in this new world of AI and big data, is that old toolbox really enough to keep you ahead of the curve? And that question really sets the stage perfectly for our first big topic. What is the new reality for accounting? We're at this fascinating point where the sheer amount of data out there is forcing all of us to evolve, to look past our trusted tools, and honestly, to adopt a whole new way of thinking. What this really boils down to is a huge shift in responsibility. You know, it wasn't that long ago that data infrastructure was strictly an IT problem. But now, for finance to really be a strategic partner in the business, we have to get the fundamentals, like where our data actually lives, how it's all put together, and how it fuels the tools we use for everything from variance analysis to our biggest forecasts. This is for sure the new standard. Okay, so if we've got to understand our data, the first question is, well, where is it all living? So let's break down the core building blocks of modern data storage. Think of these as the different kinds of high-tech vaults where your company's most valuable financial information is being kept. All right, first up, we have the classic data warehouse. The best way to think about this is like a super organized, structured library. It's built for the kind of stuff finance teams do every day, pulling clean historical data from a bunch of different systems to create things like consolidated financial statements or those big quarterly reports. It's all about reliability and structured, predictable analysis. But what about all the, well, all the messy data? I'm talking about things like scanned vendor contracts, PDF invoices, customer support logs, maybe even raw market data feeds. That's where a data lake comes into play. It's this massive, flexible storage space where you can dump all that data in its raw, native format. You don't have to clean it up first, which makes it absolutely perfect for any future analysis you haven't even thought of yet, especially for AI. And this slide just nails the core difference. A warehouse is kind of like building with Legos where you have to sort all the bricks by color and size before you even start building. We call that schema on right. A lake, on the other hand, is like dumping all your Legos into one giant bin and figuring out what you want to build later. That's schema on read. So one is built for structured reporting and the other is all about total flexibility and powering AI. So of course, the next big question was, hey, can't we just have both? And the answer is, Yep. It's called the Lake House. This awesome hybrid setup gives you the best of both worlds. You get the cheap, flexible storage of a data lake combined with the reliability and structure of a data warehouse. This is a total game changer because it means you can run powerful AI analytics right on your core data without all the hassle and cost of moving it around. Okay, so knowing where data is stored is step one. But next, we really need to understand its journey. I mean, how does one single transaction in your ERP system become a key insight on your CEO's dashboard? Well, that journey, that's what we call the financial data pipeline. And here are the five key stops on that journey. It all starts at the source, you know, your ERPs, your CRMs. Then that data gets staged, which is just a fancy way of saying it gets cleaned up and standardized to make sure it's good quality. Next, it's loaded into the warehouse or lake house we just talked about. From there, analysts can dig in with tools like SQL or even build predictive models with Python. And finally, all those insights are put onto a dashboard for leaders to actually use. Let's make this totally real for a second. Imagine you want to predict which of your customers are going to pay late next month. Your pipeline would pull all the invoice and payment history from the ERP, use a machine learning model to score each customer's risk, and then boom, push a prioritized list of at-risk accounts to a dashboard so your AR team can get ahead of it. That is a modern financial data pipeline creating real tangible value for the business. Now, the really good news here is that you don't have to build these crazy complex pipelines from scratch. The big cloud providers offer what are basically factories in a box, these powerful platforms that come with all the tools you need. So let's take a quick look at the modern finance toolkit. Let's check out the major players. You've got platforms like Google's BigQuery, which is just fantastic for crunching huge data sets. Then there's AWS with its massive suite of tools for really complex modeling. Microsoft's Azure Synapse is famous for its tight integration with AI. And then you have specialists like Snowflake, which has kind of become the go-to for a central data hub in the cloud. 
and of course Dayabrix, the company that pioneered the whole lake house idea for super advanced AI. Okay, I know that was a lot of technical stuff, but let's bring this all back to the most important question of all. Why does any of this matter for your career? Because understanding this entire landscape, well, that's your new professional superpower. Look, at the end of the day, this knowledge makes you incredibly valuable. You become the person who knows how to get accurate data and fast. You build reports that people actually trust because you understand where the data came from. You're the one who can prep the data for the company's big AI initiatives. You can solve those messy data consolidation problems, and you know how to make sure all this financial data stays secure. That is a seriously powerful skill set to have. This quote from Sung Lee just hits the nail on the head. It perfectly captures the mindset we need to have. I mean, think about it. We have incredibly strict controls for how we handle cash, right? Because it's a critical asset. Well, financial data is exactly the same. One tiny error in a data pipeline can spiral into a biased AI model or a completely wrong financial report. We have to treat it with that same level of discipline and control. And that leaves us with one critical final question. With all the buzz and all the excitement around AI and finance, we have to ask ourselves, without this solid data foundation, without the right warehouses, lakes, and pipelines, is meaningful, reliable AI even possible? Or are we just building on a foundation of sand? That's really the challenge for all of us to think about. 